Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another Rupan movie and today I'm going to react to Farewell to Nostradamus or Kutabare Nostradamus. Now uh, again this movie has a name Nostradamus which I'm sure a lot of us are, fam are familiar with. I'm also familiar with him but in not much way like I only know that he is I think he's an astrologer i think and he wrote a book which has some future predictions i think that's all i know about him and nothing else so i wonder what this has in like you know this movie has in uh you know like similarity like why are they using nostradamus's name maybe they like you know rupan's going to find some kind of uh book or something which tells some future predictions or something or something like that who knows but i'm sure it is somehow related to him and i am looking forward to what more like you know shenanigans we're going to see rupan zenigata and like, you know all the other uh, like people the crew lupan's crew and uh, yeah let's see what this movie ha brings so without further ado let's get started this is my reaction to farewell to nostradamus rupan 3 so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right, just a sec. Okay. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Oh. The ocean or sea. First month of year 19. Okay. What the? Oh, that's a helicopter. Submarine. Okay. Whoa, what happened? Birds of being a bird. Ah, there you go, Nostradamus. Okay. Solar heat. What? Because of the solar heat of the sea. Oh. Oh. Oh my God! Here we go. They are. Is it really like Ligi Lupin is going to? Like, steal this or something? Okay. Um... Ah, I can probably guess guess who those are those people are. Yeah. What was that? Is that a fake diamond or something? Or the real one? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Oh wow. Run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Die Nostradamus.
God. Wow, they don't. <laughs> As always, the. <laughs> Turn! Yes! Ooh! That's convenient. <laughs> Where's Zenigata? Okay, there they are. Oh! God! Wait, Goemon's not here? <laughs> oh no! Oh! 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 Wow. Okay, change your car. That's, that's what we need to do. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Wait, what? What's he doing here? Is Rupan here? Oh, there they are. I think so. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, he's fast! What the hell? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Maybe... Like... Maybe that was not Rupan. Maybe it was someone else. Oh my god. It's remote controlled. Okay, now you have to control the airplane. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Any parachute or something? God! What now? Oh, jump! Jump! Uh, it's kind of impossible, you know? Oh boy. What the? Who is this? <laughs> um <laughs> Wow. That that's just a doll, like what? Oh Yeah the diamond is in in it. Oh No. <laughs> oh my god, it's Fujiko. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, is she like uh, her babysitter or something? Think so. She's not going to. Oh my god, she's not going to. It's not much. Oh! What the hell? Is this hijacked or something? Oh my god. 
Um, okay, this is a problem. Okay. All right. Well, woman. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yes. God. Oh yeah, women and children. Oh my god, Zenigata's here. Oh god. Yeah, Fujiko's getting away. Like, we know, also need to get the diamond. The hell are these guys now? Oh no! Um. Hello, guys. I don't want it. <laughs> okay. Throw the bomb away. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. The passengers will now. My God. Who are these people, by the way? Okay, the bomb. What about the bomb? <laughs> yes. Um. Yeah, it's a gift. Oh, he can defuse the bomb. Okay. God. Wow, he's... Um, I was going to say that he is, looks pretty sure about this, so... Um... Um... This is not a television that... Yeah! God. Boy. Well, I'm sure Zenia, that's fine. Hmm. Like, these people had the remote to the time bomb, so. I don't know. Whoa, what the? Wait. They're targeting her? Oh my god. Oh no, oh no. Oh, maybe they're targeting the diamond. No, no, maybe not. No, no, maybe they are targeting the diamond. What the? 
Damn, she's okay. She fell from quite a height. Wait, what? Oh, wait, wait, maybe they are actually making it seem as if the prophecies are coming true. Maybe they have some other agenda or something. Yeah, I think so. These people are actually orchestrating these crimes and making it seem as if everything is true or something. Yeah, yeah, like they're actually recruiting people like this. What's going on doing here? What? What's written? Wait, so they were actually targeting the child, not the diamond. Oh, okay. Douglas Foundation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. She has. Daughter. First daughter. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought forty percent of fifth. Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> My God. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Huge. What? Oh, okay. I thought it was some kind of alarm or something. Seventy. Wow. Damn, this is some futuristic. Wow. One fifty. Resolve the effect on the building. What? How much floor is? Oh. Vault. All right. Oh, tutor. I thought babysitter. One person. Who? Who? Oh, his uncle. <laughs> 
What? Bro. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Ten cent. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Hmm. Well, obviously, it's highly sub. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> he was testing it. I'm guessing. <laughs> God. Okay. Whoa, what the? <laughs> nice. Yeah, I need a hand. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> we need the ID. So maybe Trump card. Oh, the Oh boy, here we go. What? What the hell? What? Oh, the book. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Wow, my God. Oh, wait, what?
Yeah, this place is like full of security. Can't like, I guess. Huh. Wait, is that maybe that's Rupan and Jigen, or maybe not? Okay. Oh, yeah, I knew it. They actually. Tracked down Rupan, not them. Ooh. Oh. Oh, elevator. Gr yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, what now? Oh. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. All right, the vault. Oh, maybe. Wow, look at this place. It's on top of the... No. We, uh, we need the ID, I think. What? Oh no! Yeah, they are on the top of the building. What the hell? <laughs> Ruba needs to keep a portable parachute with him all the time. What the hell? What? Okay, that was weird. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, water again. Yeah, like, let's get out of here. Oh my god, what now? <laughs> oh, oh no, they're gonna be blown away completely. <laughs> God, this place. <laughs> oh. What? What the hell is wrong with him?
Oh my god, that, that's a big gamble. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Wait, what? Okay, like, oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it won't work. It won't work. <laughs> Lupin detector. Oh wow. The lens that Zenigata will go to. Oh, it, it detected Fujiko, or maybe not. Okay. Yeah, great. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Incident! Boy. Oh, wait, Rupan is here? Grab it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, get in. <laughs> get in. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, come on. Same objective in a way. Hmm. All right. Okay, so he's going to go to his his uncle's imprisoned, isn't he? Yeah. Wow. Hmm, some rough waves. Oh, he, he deliberately, I'm guessing, got caught or something. All right. All right. His uncle is there. He just shoplifted to get caught, I think. <laughs> uh, something like that. 
I wonder where um, Jigen and Goemon are. Oh, volunteer. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Wait, why is she here? Just a sec. Wait, so... Oh. Okay, um... And uh, I'm yeah, talking to myself. <laughs> mm. Hmm. <clears throat> Whoa. Wait, what? Oh, that's Philip? Okay. Wait, they're allowed to have medicines in prison? I think, I guess. I, I don't know. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> Get revenge for you. Okay. What the? What are like? Are they here for Philip? I think so. These people. Oh, Zengata's here. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. The transmitter and lockpick. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> wow, nice. That's a great. Oh, he's also coming. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they are actually targeting him. Okay, he put it in the capsule, so... No! Oh no! Okay, <laughs> he ate it. Oh! Oh! Did he get caught, that guy? Wait, what is this? Some kind of brain... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Some kind of brain... Tr translator or something. Oh my god. Oh no. Did you go become unconscious or something? Oh my god, what the hell?
Oh. Whoa, what the? No, no, he's dead. But this guy is still trying to run away. Oh, it's Rupan's. Wait, is he okay? Didn't they say that he's dead? Oh my. Oh, Zengata. Okay, not. Uh, it's not the time. Oh boy. Oh, these people. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh no oh no he took philip with him ah. <laughs> oh my god, they're out. And I'm guessing they'll be ready. It'll take a little bit of time for them to actually arrive here, so. Yeah, he really is dead. Yeah. Oh, it's out. Whoa, what the? Oh, it's a glass eye. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh Whoa, oh no. Wait, he's also dead. Oh my god. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Wow, they have a rocket launcher. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. What they they don't need to reload or something like continuously? <laughs> oh God! Uh, oh no! Sh shark infested. <laughs> It's underneath the... <laughs> he survived, look at that. Oh my, is that the volcano or something? No, what is that?
What the? Oh, it's a... <laughs> Climb the tree, yeah. Ah, boy. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. He's <laughs> <Just> crying. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> They're gone. Who the hell is this? Oh, it must be one of the like you know local kids or something. Yeah. Hmm. Damn, he's sh shivering. Oh, is this? Wait, what are? What is she doing here? Like, she was captured first of all, and then, was she like sold or something? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did, did they like brainwash her or something? Or, or maybe she's like pretending or something. That must be. Yeah, okay. There you go. Okay, so I'm guessing these people actually like kidnap the ladies and actually like bring them here or something. Oh, there's a doll. Wait, 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 wait. The kid is also here? Yeah. Well, that we know, but... <laughs> oh boy, what's happening now? I'm sure, like, obviously, Fujiko must be, like, pretending. Okay. Yeah. There they are.
All right. Okay. <laughs> it won't work. God. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Come on. Oh boy. Hmm. Wait, wait. <laughs> Hmm. Yes, yeah, jamming us places. Okay, it's Fujiko again. Okay, maybe she. Did she really forget? Oh my god. <coughs> Wait, she really forgot or something? I thought she was pretending. <laughs> oh. oh yeah wait what what the hell? Wait, was it was that like Okay, that was actually making her forget. Wait, that little thing was the thing that was actually making her forget? Okay, so what is in that thing? Hmm. Oh yeah, what happened to the capsule? Like, he has it. What? Then... Oh, he wants everything, that means. God. He wants everything, that's basically it. So this is a big boss, I'm guessing. <laughs> it's domination of the world.
<laughs> so he, he's also planning something else. Uh, oh, this is the that guy, the prophet, uh, the whatever that. <laughs> oh yeah, she also forgot that Lu Lupin is here. Hmm. He has some other plans. This guy. All right. <laughs> oh, it's him. Oh, I think he has the word. <laughs> okay. Oh no! There's a hole in the... Yeah... Oh, she's... he's... Yeah, she's... <laughs> He's like, what the hell are you doing? Help! <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, he didn't realize that. Wireless signal. Oh, it had a little needle needles in it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh boy. Uh now what? Okay, one thing is good that they're in the forest, so the helicopters won't be able to get in. Or maybe okay, there you go. Oh! <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> there you go. Okay, there you go. She's helping. Okay, these guys are relentless, <laughs> relentless, and 
Oh boy. Uh, can they all swim? Like, like uh, they can swim. Oh, okay, the girl can also swim, I guess. Oh my god, why the hell? Oh yeah, they're actually targeting her, so... Oh, thank god. It's Zen... Uh... Uh... Wait. That's... Jigen's... Jig yeah, there you go. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. All right, here's the elect election. I think so. What didn't Oh great Oh wait Zenigata is here <laughs> Zenigata still doesn't know that Rupan is alive <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't be <bear> this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, at least you know that she's alive, so I guess. Alright. Oh my god, they're all being... Wait, is she or the dad somehow connected to... Oh, that's why they said we're leaving the soccer team members as well during the hijacking. Okay, I can. She's. I think she's involved in the Nostradamus whole thing. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah, he's turning. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> she, oh my God. 
Yeah, he's one of them. Okay. Hmm. Or oh, maybe she has something to do with the vault, like some kind of a that's why they keep, as, as Zupan said, they're keeping her alive. There you go. Three members. The dad. Oh, that was the eye. Oh my god. It was good that he kept it. Well, there you go. Hmm. Okay. Oh, what the? What? What is happening? What the hell? What? Wow, these security people are pretty... Are those like transmitter or are those like bombs? It can be either of those, maybe some kind of... Yeah. It's yeah, like cut them off. It's it's going on, so I think he should be able to. There you go. Nice. <laughs> They're like, what the hell? Why are we here? Oh. Bombs, there you go. Yeah, blowing up of the presidential. There you go. They're basically, they're basically prophesizing whatever is going to happen.
right okay so okay so she is not working for them but she just has blind faith in them that's it like uh, so they're like they're going to use her as a puppet or something yeah that's what they're doing like she basically she she's just being tricked <laughs> it'd be great if they actually are able to defuse the bomb before i don't think so there's a lot of bombs that they actually planted so yeah it's kind of difficult yeah yeah <laughs> god Ah <laughs> uh. <laughs> Rupan detector. <laughs> Rupan is inside that. What? Is really? Is he really in there? Wait, what was that? Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> yes. Wow, like everyone's like betraying each other in this, like, you know, this guy, uh, boy. <laughs> oh, she's in here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, great. Why would he come here to tell you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the eyes. Oh, this is the okay. Okay, um... Yeah, there she is. Oh, great. Hopefully, 
the uh, the mother is able to understand that these people are actually i don't know yeah there you go i i hope she's able to understand that he's basically breaking her not only her but everyone yeah oh boy Okay. Oh, maybe he can. Ha! There you go. <laughs> okay, maybe we can go from. Yeah. We have to climb. Oh, he's in the nose! <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Where is what is Zenigata doing? Like he was also in the suit case. Okay, here we are. Okay. Wait, wait. Whoa. What the hell? God, is that the vault? Yeah. It's golden completely. So I'm guessing the dad would have also worked. Okay. Oh. Okay, Zen got a hit. <laughs> okay, maybe he can find some gun or something inside. Oh, but he himself has his gun, so yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, you're alive! <laughs> ah. Ah. Uh, are they able to hear him? Oh boy. <laughs> I can't play with you today. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. Maybe she can trick him. Can she do that? Okay, there you go. Ha! 
<laughs> That's what happens when you're too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm guessing that's what uh, the girl planned as well. Julia planned as well. Like to actually lead him inside and then trick him. But don't you need the Julia to? Oh, he he already has the. Okay, there you go. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Ha, <laughs> yeah, right. Hmm. Oh wait, is that like a, oh, it's like a visual, yeah, okay, it's basically hypnotizing them or something. Just pinch yourself or something, you know. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing Jigen is still falling. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, leave him be. Just leave him be. What the? Hmm. Oh. Wow, look at this place. This is a book? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's here. Oh no. The... Okay, do Oh my god. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh, where's Fujiko and Goemon? Or maybe Zenigata. They either can. Uh, I mean, you cannot. Wait, what? Okay. Wait, what? Oh, is that the... Yeah, the... Is that the bomb? Yeah. 
What? Oh, it is a bomb. There you go. Okay. Nah, he had a remote control to it. Yeah. Oh. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh. Hmm. God. <laughs> he got a taste of his own medicine. Oh, what are those parachutes? Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, it's all gone now. Yeah, the electrical. Oh my God, I, I think that guy will probably, yeah. Oh! Oh no! Okay. Oh my God. God. Oh, there you go. Then you got that. Uh, not then you got that. Going on. Okay, maybe they can go and help them now. I don't know. There you go. Oh my god. Oh, this guy. Oh. Oh. Okay, can't you just like turn him? Okay, there you go. Jump. Oh my god. Okay, he has a parachute, no problem. He can just. Oh boy, the pendulum is going to. Oh my. Damn. Oh. Okay. Oh no, it's it's on fire. Okay, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can use some help here. Uh. Okay. <laughs>
My god. <laughs> Ooh! Oh! Uh, grab a ski and yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> my god and the water again oh <laughs> true without luck this is impossible you know like how is this even possible <laughs> without some insane luck My god, the whole building is falling. Oh. <laughs> this place is completely wrecked. Hot. Hmm. Okay, there you go. Ah, oh, he has a book as well. All right. Well, hope they learn a lesson. You know. Yeah, they. Yeah, they must have learned a lesson now. Oh boy. What? What? Huh? Oh my god. Yeah, it was... <laughs> yeah, like... Wait, is this like some kind of a different thing? Oh! <laughs> oh my god, it, it makes sense! She she was so used to that place that means she snuck in into that yeah yeah <laughs> okay oh wow <laughs> oh no the <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wait, did she like? Oh, she took it out. <laughs> oh, my God, she's back. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, the boat. There you go. Oh my god, it's still falling. <sighs> hmm. Uh. 
All right, there we go. Wow, that's a nice movie. All right, so that was this movies and okay. <gasps> Oh, where's Zenigata? Uh, he must be somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what the people will do now, you know, like, I'm sure like everyone will get to know that they were being tricked by the, um, by the man. Uh, the Nostradamus, the man who was prophesizing everything, and I wonder how the how this will affect the elections, and will like you know will will he will the guy um, uh, Julia's dad will he be able to like you know uh, what do you call it stand for the election again, and like what's going to happen? Who knows? Because um, most most of the damage that happened here, but uh, yeah, like the, the fault doesn't lie with them because they're basically the victims here. Uh, the main uh, culprit is the the guy, the prophet guy, and the other guy who 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 was kidnapping everyone. Those two, like those two, are the main uh, no, like main culprit here. So. I wonder, like, I'm sure, like, people will realize that everything was, like, a big, like, you know, like, trick that they played on them. Okay. Is that it? Let's see if there's something. I think that's it, yeah. Alright, so that was uh, Farewell Nostradamus, and... Uh, <clears throat> Okay, so it's a really great movie and quite a few things happened in this, like, you know, uh, it, was, it was a long movie, like, uh, like one hour, 40 or 40 minutes, something like that. So a lot of things actually happened and like, you know, like meeting the uncle, like, you know, uh, Lupin, uh, uh, not Rupan, sorry, Julia being kidnapped, then meeting the president, uh, the Nostradamus, uh, the guy who was like, you know, the prophet guy, him, like, and also like, um, ah, Fujiko, Fujiko, Fujiko becoming like, you know, like, like being brainwashed, then the whole, like, you know, like the soccer team being brainwashed, like a lot of things actually happened here. And then by the end, like, you know, them actually getting the book, and finally realizing that it it doesn't even matter like it, it's of no value and uh, i feel like um, you know what i feel like zenigata's role in this uh, movie was quite less compared to the other movies like he basically was there just for the sake of it i feel like you know like um kind of helped in little sections but that was basically it so Zenigata's role here was quite less. Most of the uh, characters' roles here were quite less in a way compared to all the other uh, movies. Um, but obviously Fujiko, Rupan, and 
जी गैन दे दे हैड क्वाइट अमाउंट ऑफ लाइक नो दे हैड अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दे डिड टूगेदर गोइंग ऑन काइंड ऑफ जॉइंट नॉट एट दी एंड बट एट द मिडल सो ही हैज अ लिटल बिट लेस अमाउंट ऑफ कॉल इट ही वॉज नॉट दैट मच इन्वॉल्व विद दिस मूवी एंड सेम विद जेनिगाता जेनिगाता वॉज ऑल्सो हियर ही ऑल्सो काइंड ऑफ हेल्प इन अ लॉट ऑफ सेक्शन बट बाई दी एंड ऑफ इट लाइक दे काइंड ऑफ लाइक नो केप्ट you know missing each other rupan and zenigata like <laughs> so like you know it was basically zenigata always trying to catch rupan but ultimately being unsuccessful and uh, yeah okay so here uh this girl uh, julia she now the mom and the dad now what i thought in the middle you know i thought maybe the mom was actually kind of like the a main leader or something you know like they at that moment they did not properly show what was happening that they when we saw that the all the football uh, all the soccer player, player members had uh the the thing the brainwashing thing the band around their hand and then they kind of zoomed on into the lady uh, julia's mom i thought like oh my god is she like the main leader on some, something is she like mm, <clears throat> you know like using her daughter to do this but then i thought that no like it kind of doesn't make sense because uh she really did seem concerned about julia and then i thought that okay like maybe it's something like this that he is actually working with um you know uh the the people the the the, the prophet and she did not like you know realize that uh, julia would be endangered and now that uh, julia has been kidnapped she is like i don't know like i kind of thought that I, like at that moment i thought maybe the uh, prophet and the other guy you know the the other guy who kidnapped julia they were working separately i thought and i thought they were like two groups and i thought that maybe the mom actually uh, like you know is working with the prophet not the guy who kept, uh, kidnapped julia so like you know like he she is like helping them to get julia back or something you know something like that i thought but then everything started making sense when we uh, like you know realized that the bomb was actually did not know what was happening she was in the dark she she basically thought that yeah like me doing this is going to help us he was you know like tr- trusted but obviously the prophet guy he tricked her and he got to realize that later on when they decided to start shooting even though julia was uh, present in the the place and that's when the mom realized and uh, like that makes more sense because i i really was surprised i was thinking like what's happening like is she like working with the bad guys then like you know like why is she concerned about julia then you know it doesn't make sense but then yeah like then i realized that she she herself was i also been tricked she just uh you know like she was just being manipulated by the um, by the prophet guy and the, the like you know she was manipulated to go against her her husband because uh you know the the way uh julia's dad was kind of like you know prioritizing the election more than julia that that probably like you know kind of enraged um the mom rightfully so and he, you know the prophet kind of took advantage of that and he was like you know like all these money and everything is making him it go to his head look at him he's not even concerned about his daughter so yeah we should like you know uh, not let him become the president or something like that he probably must have like said to her and the the mom was also like yeah and you know like emotional manipulation that's what they did and controlled her and i think like you know like the the uh, the julia julia said something i think in the middle of yeah like when he was talk she was talking with fujiko she said something like worse even the you know uh significance of me going back like mom and dad both of them are like you know all money 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 they're all concerned about the election and uh, they don't care about me and i think like you know this this whole thing that happened here this probably will in a way mend their relationship like you know the family's relationship the 
Julia his mom and uh, her mom and her uh, dad's relationship as a family and even though like you know they lost a lot of things here one thing that they gained is uh, you know their trust you know about like you know uh, involving each other back and they can you know they'll have to, like i'm sure the dad like suffered a lot of loss in this whole thing you know probably like you know he he's 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 going to like you know i don't know like what can i say like lose all his property or something maybe they'll become poor or something and but what they gained here is you know their family and money can be gained you know if you work hard but these kind of things like trust human relationships these things like you know spending time with your son or your daughter these type of things if they like you know if someone loses it it's gone forever so in a way it's kind of helped them mend their family it what do you call it it, it joined the broken up family together again and i'm sure the dad will like you know like start like you know like i don't know like thinking more about the family the mom will also do so and at the same time the dad will also like you know do his own job and everything and little by little he'll gain back his reputation and finally you know that he'll probably gain back all the money and everything and hopefully he keeps you know like like the lesson that he learned in this keeps that in mind you know doesn't always like focus on the what do you call it the fame and everything and also you know focuses on his family more and at the same time like you know become successful like why not both at the same time and maybe it'll take a little bit of time but i'm sure he'll be able to do it in the future without sacrificing his time with his family yeah i'm sure like you know like it, it, like if this whole thing didn't teach him something i don't know what will so i'm sure he he must have learned something from this whole situation and uh, yeah happy ending so okay that and uh, now one thing i was really surprised here is like fujiko actually losing memories you know like i really was not expecting them like fujiko has been always been that type of a uh, you know a woman who what do you call it like always tricks others and everything so <laughs> you know when she was like you know it said like it when it was shown that she forgot everything i thought that um okay maybe she is just trying to trick everyone you know like uh, fool your allies before fooling your enemies something like that she's trying to do and maybe she's just acting and she has some other plans in her mind but then by the end of it i realized that okay so she really did forget and i really like no honestly speaking i was not expecting that but it's a brief amount of time very brief and he she got her memories back again so like i was one thing i was really surprised with the band i was like how the hell is that like it's made of some kind of a you know uh, cloth so how is that brainwashing him i was i was like what, what what's happening like how how is that even possible and then like you know we saw that there was like a little chip and some with some needles in it i'm guessing it had some kind of a something you know like some kind of technological thing which actually messed with your brain so that's why like you know everyone got brainwashed forgot about everything everyone was being controlled and <laughs> thank god the the thing that the food fell on that otherwise um julia wouldn't have cut the band off and they wouldn't even have realized that the main cult like you know the main thing that was making them forget everything was the band in her hand okay and like a few things i actually felt uh, i don't know about like you know but i feel like a few things were actually kind of not rushed but it, it was kind of what can i say like abrupt like uh what was the uh, the little kid's name sergio or something like that you know his section like i felt as if it was like a really what can i say like rushed thing that we saw like you know like he barely get got any screen time it's just like for a couple of minutes like five ten minutes 
that thing the whole thing with zenigata as i said like you know like it feels as if zenigata got a lot less involved in this like he was there but he was just there that's it nothing else you know uh, and few other things i felt as if like which was not really that much implemented but it could have been implemented if this movie was a lot longer maybe like you know maybe if it was like a 2 hour 30 minutes movie maybe sergio's section could have gotten a little bit more you know um story content and it like you know it, it felt as if like we just met him you know like he kind of helped us to get like you know like run away from that place and uh, like, you know get, get to safety and that was just it and they didn't even show us like you know like, show him to us after that and they kind of mentioned him in the end you know when rupan and uh, julia said that we need to buy a cano for him like that was like that was that like that was shown but other than that like nothing else i, I feel as if like he like, you know he he got a lot less screen time that than it was actually intended i don't know it, it might be just me but most probably because of the like, you know, limited amount of time maybe this movie was it was a little bit longer everyone probably would have gotten a decent amount of section dedicated to them and uh, yeah all right okay now the whole uh thing the treasure vault it's a very interesting concept where you know like obviously the first thing is like there's a lot of security thing going on first you need the eye uh like you know ocular recognition on the big thing it opens then the whole section then after getting in there's another like recognition section where you have to put on the helmet and then get in and then there is like this i'm guessing some kind of secu security measure where like the vr thing kicked in unless and until you swipe the card um, yeah you'll be in a <laughs> you're falling continuously so that was like you know they like that was probably made like, anticipating situations like this where maybe someone was taken hostage you know uh and the girl probably knew that as well so i like i was kind of surprised when i saw that when she suddenly started doing everything <laughs> even though the guy didn't even tell him to like you know didn't even threaten her to she just like you know got down started doing like you know started unlocking that place and they like, got in and <laughs> i was like my god why is she so like you know enthusiastic about doing this like isn't she a hostage isn't she supposed to kind of like, you know uh resist doing this but then i realized that okay she was basically doing this to trick the guy and got him in and he started falling in that eternal virtual reality thing <laughs> and that was just like you know her plan to uh, trap that guy and it worked so obviously like that was like you know like as i said like it, it must have been and that security measure must have been placed there in uh anticipation for something like this that might have happened and it worked out pretty well uh and yeah that was like you know that was like a kind of like a clever thing where what can i say like you know like it's like a brain thing where the guy feels as if like he won't be able to get out of that eternal like you know falling down but at the same time nothing is actually happening to him so yeah but kind of like you know you know in the end where the, all the electrical thing kind of got messed up he got out of that so that was a problem but still it was very effective rupan and um well, no rupan and uh, jigen yeah they were also there they came in later on and uh, yeah like they got in they got the book and <laughs> like the, like the end really makes sense where we get to see that it was actually scribbled with <laughs> julia's like you know like drawings and everything sketches and it was basically her place to hang out when she was lonely and that's why she was so familiar with it <laughs> because she she was a frequent um uh, you know she uh visited that place frequently and yeah it was of no use by the end of it so like this whole thing had like uh what can i say like i i, I guess like 
what do you call it? The, the other the, the the guys who were actually trying to get that the bad guys like I, even after getting the book they you know they, they like they themselves would have realized later on that it was like all sketched and it wouldn't fetch a big price and but one thing that would like they could like you know like they would have profited from is the whole like you know the, the guy would have to go uh what do you call it the guy would have to like step down from the presidential election like that thing would have happened and it would have been proved that yeah this guy is actually like whatever he's saying is coming true so the nostradamus book is what like, you know the false book that he is preaching he was preaching was actually truthful and that would have happened these two would have happened but otherwise the book wouldn't have actually like you know fetched any price uh, either way <clears throat> But yeah, so as always, like, you know, by the end of it, we see that whatever we get, like, uh, this is like a common theme we can see that, you know, like, there's like always this big thing that's going to happen, which is like worth a lot of money. And Rupa and Fujiko, they all start, like, you know, actually chasing it. But by the end of it, we actually see that, nah, you know, <laughs> it's all not worth it at all. And they lose the like, you know, big amount of money. But one thing that they do that I see is by the end, like, even though they lose most of the money, that's like, you know, like 50 million or uh, what else, like 10 million, like th this big amount of money, even though they are unable to get it by the end, they kind of get a little bit of a consolation prize, you know? <laughs> if you remember the, the previous movie as well, uh, the, uh, what was that? Uh, the... Fumar conspiracy. No, the in the end, like the, it was like a huge amount of money that they were going to actually like dreaming about. That yeah, there's so many treasures, so much gold. We're going to get so many things. But by the end, like you know, everything goes down, and they get a little bit amount of like you know, even like Lupan. Lupan also doesn't get anything as far as I can remember. Fuji kind of gets it, like a little gold, uh, which was also like you know quite expensive, you know, worth a lot of money. So yeah, like it's like a little consolation prize that they get by the end of it. <laughs> like they don't walk away empty-handed. That's good in a way, you know. So <laughs> like I wonder, like if there's any movie or any like you know, uh, even in the anime, I wonder if there's like an episode or a movie where by the end they really actually get a lot amount, like huge amount of money. I wonder, you know, like you know the the amount that they think that they're going to get by the end of it they actually get it i wonder if there's something like that like yeah i'm sure we'll get to know like you know i'm going to watch the other movies as well so <laughs> i'll keep an eye out for that all right what else and obviously we can see here now oh the, the, another thing as i was saying like you know a few characters it felt as if they were just like, you know, in this movie, they were just introduced for the sake of it. As I said, like, you know, uh, Sergio, that, that kid, you know, uh, he got a little amount of screen time, but very less. And I feel as if he could have gotten a little bit more. Um, a few other characters as well. For example, uh, that guy, that, uh, uh, what was that? The, the guy who was with Rupan, you know, in the prison, who also decided to follow Rupan. Like, it seemed as if he was going to get a little bit of screen time, but then he just died. And I'm guessing it was trying to tell us that, you know, like, uh, like it's kind of impossible to get out of this place alive in, like, you know, in normal methods, using normal methods. So that, and the, and the uncle as well, like, it feels as if like, he just got introduced and he suddenly was killed. And, uh, yeah. Okay, one thing I wonder, like, this is Rupan's uncle. Was he like referenced to in any of the anime episodes, or did we like you know is is he like shown in the anime? Because he seems like quite an important character being related to Rupan. Uh, or maybe it's like this is the first movie that they introduced them and then killed him off here. Maybe it's something like that because from the comments I could gather that these are all standalone movies, so I'm guessing it's something like that and 
yeah that's what i was saying like you know a few characters it seemed as if they really didn't get much screen time and uh yeah it was just kind of like you know very vaguely they're they're part of the like, you know, the screen time it was very vague and very little but yeah it must be because of the amount of time you know like the limited amount of time that this movie had and they had a lot of other things to actually focus on other than focusing on these characters i guess so yeah okay is that it let's see if there's something else Mm, yeah, I think that was it. Okay. So yeah, that was it. That was a great movie, and it had like I, I I think like you know this was one of the most not big in length, but it had a lot of things happening, you know. And uh, usually, what happens like you know in these movies that I've seen. That it's kind of it kind of focuses on one thing you know in one place or maybe two places maximum three places but here they were it, it seemed as if they were like you know traveling from one place to another and then another and then another like it was very extensive so many things were happening you know the whole like you know them getting the diamond then them meeting julia in the airplane the airplane getting hijacked and uh, Fujiko introducing them to the dad and the mom and you know Rupan and them trying to get the uh, get to the vault then Igata being there and Fujiko getting captured Fujiko being brainwashed Rupan going to save his uncle Rupan saving you know Fujiko and trying to get his uncle out of there but failing obviously his uncle dies and you know then again meeting julia meeting sergio them trying to get out of that place coming to japan i, I guess that was was that japan i think so yeah and uh, then coming back again no that was not japan that was brazil okay um yeah them coming back uh, the presidential elections, the Nostradamus, the whole thing, the prophecy, you know, like so many things. And Julia taking, like them taking Julia up, planting the bombs. And then, then obviously the last section, getting, you know, getting the book back, Rupan and all of them having that fight. And yeah, so many things happened here. It's like, it's obviously like not big in length, but... A lot of content we can see in this and uh, i think it would have been better if this had a little bit more time you know like it was as i said one hour 40 minutes so i think it would have been better if, if it was like two hours or two hours 10 or 15 minutes like i think they could have probably expressed a lot more things more properly you know properly like show everything mm, so yeah that's just my opinion i don't know so yeah so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to um uh farewell nostradamus now um, if i have to rank this i'll probably say that obviously castle of caliostro is on top then um then my favorite one is fuma conspiracy then i'll probably put this one then mamo and then Babylon. uh something like this so yeah it was a good movie but i think i prefer fuma conference conspiracy a bit more than this and uh, yeah so yeah guys that was it thank you guys for watching this was my uh, reaction to rupan 3 um, not uh, farewell to nostradamus so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out and uh, okay so next week i am going to react to the next movie which is <laughs> excuse me Lupin 3 dead or alive so yeah so yeah guys that was it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another Lupin movie reaction so until then goodbye and have a nice day